most welcome to really easy my dear little friend today's query phases of the moon my dear little friend the moon goes through a cycle of phases each month which changes our view of the moon based on its position in relation to earth and the sun the moon phase shows the illuminated portion of the moon that is being lit by the sun there are a total of eight moon phases new moon works in crescent first quarter works in gibbous full moon when in gibbous last quarter moon and when in crescent friend understanding all the moon phases in order let's look at a diagram before we delve into each phase individually let's take a moment to orient ourselves in the moon phases diagram beginning with imagining earth at the center of the illustration and the sun adjacent to the new moon think of the phases leveled new moon first quarter full moon and third quarter as the numbers 12 9 6 and 3 on a clock respectively friend for those of us in the northern hemisphere the moon travels in a counter clockwise orbit okay each of these primary moon phases marks a quarter of the lunar cycle and last only a moment the remaining phases waxing crescent waxing gibbous waning gibbous and waning crescent mark the time time frames between the primary phases each of these in between phases lasts about 7 days and 9 hours altogether the lunar cycle takes 29.5 days to complete When you observe the moon in the sky ask yourself which side is aglow is it the right then you know the moon is waxing or progressing toward the full moon is it the left side the full moon has passed friend if you happen to live in the southern hemisphere heads up those sides will be reversed New moon. A uh, new moon occurs when the moon is at its closest point to the sun in its orbit around us. From our perspective, it is invisible because the side of the moon illuminated by the sun faces directly away from us. This means there is no moonlight reflected to us for us to observe. Though you cannot see it, a new moon rises and sets about same time as the sun which makes sense when you consider the one time you can observe a new moon my dear little friend during a solar eclipse it is a new moon that passes between us and the sun waxing crescent after the new moon the moon enters the waxing crescent phase crescent refers to the shape like a crescent roll while waxing means increasing over about a week's time if you are in the northern hemisphere the right side of the moon will be illuminated if you are in the southern hemisphere your perspective will be reversed it will be the left side that lead first quarter the moon looks half full at this stage so what we to the name Here the term simply means that the moon is one fourth of the way through the lunar cycle like a new moon the first quarter designation marks a precise moment if you draw a line from the earth to the sun and another from earth to the moon those lines would be perpendicular waxen gives Waxing gives moon phase right side of moon illustrated more than halfway during the waxing gives moon phase the illuminated portion of the moon is still waxing or increasing the word gives derived from the latin word for hump refers to the convex shape over about a week's time this phase marks the progression from the first quarter moon to a full moon full moon 
halfway through the lunar cycle a full moon occurs the moon is at its farthest point from the sun in its orbit and the side of the moon facing us appears as a perfectly round disc whereas a new moon arises and sets in tandem with the sun the opposite is true for a full moon which lights the night from around sunset to sunrise this is especially true for the harvest moon that falls near the autumn equinox a time when day and night are about equal in length occasionally the sun earth and moon aligned during a full moon the result is a lunar eclipse also called a blood moon for the reddish shadow the earth cast on the moon and if two full moons occurs within a calendar month the second one is called a blue moon if you notice a full moon looking extra large it might be a super moon which happens when the full moon is at its closest point to earth in its orbit or it might be an illusion if you are gazing upon a full moon that's close to the horizon a full moon peaks at a precise time though it can appear full for two or three days if you glimpse a full moon just before or after its peak time you are actually observing a nearly full moon in one of the gibbous phases whether waxing or waning waning gibbs waning gibbs moon phase small portion of right side of moon not illuminated to win means to diminish as the moon moves into this phase the illuminated portion appears to shrink as the moon circles back towards the sun the shape of a waning gibbs is the same as that of waxing gibbs so how can you tell the difference in the northern hemisphere it is a left side of the moon that's lit when it's waning in the southern hemisphere a waning moon appears lit on the right side third quarter lit half of moon illuminated a third quarter moon looks a lot like a first quarter moon both appears as a half circle to our eye but again you can tell the difference by which side of the moon is illuminated the left for the northern hemisphere at this moment the moon is now 3 quarter of the way through its lunar cycle hence the name third quarter it is also sometimes called a last quarter moon simply meaning that it's entering the last quarter of its cycle waning crescent only small portion of left side of moon illuminated that crescent roll shape is back except now it's shrinking as the moon travels back to its closest point to the sun the lit position that we can see gets smaller each day and when it disappears from our view it is a new moon and the cycle begins again bye bye